The universe is full of mysteries that most of us fail to understand. Every now and then, scientists find new cosmic objects and create more mysteries. One such mind-blowing heavenly object is white dwarfs. Opposite to their name, there is not much dwarfish about these bodies as these are the remnants of dead stars packed in a much smaller size. Fascinating, isn't it? White dwarfs are the remnants of stars that have exhausted the nuclear fuel and have undergone gravitational collapse. These objects are incredibly dense with a mass comparable to that of the Sun, but a size only slightly larger than the Earth. Despite their small size, white dwarfs are among the most luminous objects in the universe, emitting radiation across the entire electromagnetic spectrum. In this video, we will explore the formation of white dwarfs and some of the theories that scientists have proposed to explain these fascinating objects. Well, stick to the end of the video and you will get to know a lot about these. The formation of white dwarfs begins with a star that has exhausted the hydrogen fuel in its core. This usually happens when the star reaches the end of its main sequence, which is the stage in its life cycle where it is burning hydrogen into helium in its core. At this point, the core of the star collapses under its own weight, causing the temperature and pressure to increase to a point where helium fusion can begin. This marks the start of the star's red giant phase. During the red giant phase, the star's outer envelope expands and cools, while the core continues to contract and heat up. Eventually, the core becomes hot enough for helium fusion to occur, leading to a sudden release of energy known as helium flash. This event causes the star to contract and heat up even further, but this time the contraction is balanced by the energy released from helium fusion. The star then settles into a stable configuration known as the horizontal branch. As the star continues to burn through its helium, it begins to shed its outer layers, forming a planetary nebula. The core of the star is exposed and rapidly cools, eventually becoming a white dwarf. The process of forming a white dwarf is complex and depends on the mass of the original star. The most massive stars, those with initial masses greater than 8 times the mass of the Sun, will end their lives as supernovae. During a supernova, the core of the star collapses so rapidly that it exceeds the Chandrasekhar limit, which is the maximum mass that a white dwarf can support. The core then rebounds, causing a massive explosion that blows off the outer layers of the star. The core collapses further, forming either a neutron star or a black hole. Stars with initial masses between 1.4 and 8 times the mass of the Sun will form white dwarfs. These stars do not have enough mass to ignite carbon fusion in their cores, so they eventually exhaust the nuclear fuel and undergo gravitational collapse. The resulting white dwarf has a mass of about 0.6 to 1.4 times the mass of the Sun and a radius of about 0.01 times the radius of the Sun. Stars with initial masses less than 1.4 times the mass of the Sun will also form white dwarfs, but the process is slightly different. These stars do not undergo supernova explosion because their cores never exceed the Chandrasekhar limit. Instead, they shed their outer layers to form a planetary nebula and leave behind a white dwarf with a mass of about 0.2 to 0.6 times the mass of the Sun and a radius of about 0.01 times the radius of the Sun. Scientists have proposed several theories to explain the properties of white dwarfs. One theory is the electron degenerate pressure theory which states that the pressure that supports a white dwarf comes from the repulsion between electrons in the core of the star. The electrons are packed so tightly together that they obey the laws of quantum physics, leading to a phenomena known as electron degeneracy. This degeneracy pressure is strong enough to balance the force of gravity and prevent further collapse. However, the mystery of white dwarfs remains not completely solved but the scientists will definitely solve it one day. This was all for this video. Thank you for watching.